Meditation is like medication or medicine for the mind. We all have our diseases of greed, aversion, and delusion. We need help in how to overcome them, because no one else can come in and do the work for us. But we can't do the work on, us, on our own without some outside guidance. Because a lot of times, of course, when you're deluded, you don't know you're deluded. It may be easy for other people to see where your faults are, but you have to see your own faults and to see their own problems. So it's good to listen to the Dharma. And it's good to try to get the mind as quiet as possible. And then ask yourself, when my mind moves in this direction, is there any stress? Is there any suffering? Okay, that's a sign you've got a disease, if there is. If there's not, okay. Tell yourself things look okay for the time being, but you have to keep your eyes out just to make sure you didn't miss something the first time around. This is why we practice again and again and again. You've got to keep checking up on yourself to see if there are areas where Greed is taking more and more space in your life, or aversion is taking more space, or delusion is totally covering everything up. Because delusion is like fog. I mean, there's light in the delusion, but everything is obscured, everything is murky. It's not that you don't know at all, but you know something, but a lot of times when you know only a little piece of something, you can get really confused. It's like learning a new language. You pick up one word or two and you can put them together in all the wrong ways because you don't get all the other connections. So this is why I have to meditate again and again and again. This medicine that we take is something you have to take again and again and again until you really flush everything out of your system. But the advantage of taking it is that, on the one hand, it's not a bad medicine to take. You sit here and meditate, and the mind is at ease. And you can really look at yourself, instead of being slave to all the urges that come up in the mind. And then eventually the medicine is a lot better than any other medicine in the world, because other medicines can give you some health for a while, but then they stop working. But this medicine doesn't stop working. It keeps working and working until it finally gets you to a point where you don't need medicine anymore. So take your medicine. It's not really good for you, but it, when you get good at it, you find that it really is a, a much better form of happiness than the happiness you get from greed, aversion, or delusion. It leads you to a state of genuine health.